everyone and welcome back to Pet World 3D, my animal rescue story. And we are here after our little lunch break. So we took a quick lunch break last time and we are diving back in to take care of the rest of their animals. We've already adopted out a puppy and I think one of the bunnies and we worked on our cats. So we need to take care of our guinea pigs. We need to take good care of our rabbits, our birds. We've still got to take care of our hamsters. We already have taken care of our wonderful little foal and I think we've already actually taken care of, yeah. Pretty sure we already took care of the the reptiles, but I'll have to double check. We have a gentleman here ready to go ahead and potentially adopt some of the animals. So let's see how he's doing. It's Dennis. His eight, he is 37 years old. My children are desperate for a pet, but there's only just enough room in our flat. What do you think? It uh, is there an animal that doesn't meet, need much room and will still be perfectly happy? Now that sounds like a hamster for you, sir. So let me go ahead and put away these bunny things. But yes, yeah, so I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So we have started having little lunch breaks, but don't worry, we're still going to be taking good care of our animals. Let's see, should I? Let's go ahead and grab the bird stuff while we're down here too. And let's see if we can get Dennis matched up. So we're starting at 27 adoption points. Let's see, how's Jerry doing today? Hey Jerry, how are you? Let's go ahead and get you a little bit of food and water. So now he's super happy. What do you think, Jerry? Jerry's perfect. So now that's one adoption and let's see how many adoptions we can pull off today because I'm really excited to see if we can kind of get to the um kind of get to the pond. I know that's silly, but the pond is like 50 adoption points and so I really want it. I don't know why. I can't really explain it, but I think a pond would be amazing in a way of going, look at us. We have helped adopt out so many animals that they have gone ahead and given us, let's give it a little, let's give you a little pet. They've gone ahead and donated a pond to our animal rescue. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Isn't this not just the cutest little ham ham? Oh my goodness, I love him. There we go. All right, and off to the birds. Yay, we have more birds. How are you doing today, Wanda? She seems like she's doing pretty good. She needs a lot more food though. So these are some hungry, hungry birds. Oh. All right, uh, one second. Probably gave you too much food, sorry. All right, hello, sir. Would you like a bird? Ah, dang it, the water is so hard to get just so, there we go. All right, I, I could watch animals swimming around for hours. Are there currently any exotic or any aquatic animals looking for a home? Um, actually, no, because we, we kind of adopted out the last of our turtles. I'm sorry, sir, very sorry. Oh my goodness, I've no, I don't think I've ever really purposely had to turn someone away before. I feel kind of bad now. All right, too bad you didn't want like Paula. You look beautiful, Paula. All right, and what's going on over here? Coco is doing well. We just need to kind of clean up your little exhibit. There you go. Oh, I got the water finally. And give you a little bit more food. I bet there's plenty of peanuts for you to be able to crack open. Oh my gosh. All right, and let's see Ella, who is a year and a couple months old. More feathers are lying at the base of the pen than normal, and the bird has a spot on the stomach where you can see reddened skin. Now, that can also be caused by birds who get stressed out and start feather plucking. And especially among your large birds like this, like cockatiels even, or even lovebirds, um, but especially your super intelligent large parrots, they will really start feather plucking if they are not being emotionally and mentally well taken care of. So it's a form of kind of like self-destructive behavior that they will do when they're just not feeling like they are getting enough attention. These birds come from flocks of dozens and hundreds. So when you suddenly isolate them in an apartment and you don't interact with them because you know you've got work or TV or you've got to go places, these are not meant to be birds. They're not meant to be animals that can do that. That's like a snake. That's like maybe a cat. The large birds like this, don't get them, you guys. And large bird owners, speak up. Speak up, because I know you know it's true. Don't get them unless you are willing to make them, like, your arm. Unless you're willing to make them a daily part of your life at every turn. Don't get these big birds. Because they will pull out the feathers because they're, they're not feeling well. They're not feeling emotionally or mentally well. If you're not ready to take on the emotional health of a large bird, which is the same as like a three-year-old, don't do it. Just leave them alone. All right, so you're doing okay now, buddy. You'll be all right. We'll take good care of you. All right, so let's take care of our bunnies because I think our bunnies actually need a little bit of attention and we're going to have to just like chuck this stuff into the distance because it's kind of glitchy. There we go. So let's go ahead. Oh, hello, ma'am. Oh my gosh, it is a busy day. So one adoption so far. I already have a parrot. Ah, oh, see, look at this. 
<laughs> Since you shouldn't really keep them alone, do you have an animal that might need a home? Betty, I love you. She is doing exactly what I was just talking about. Wanda, I have a home for you. Perfect. Uh, yeah, they don't do good on their own. And they can often do much better if you have a bunny with them. So it depends on how much you can handle. Because like I said, it's basically like adopting a three-year-old when you get a large parrot like that. All right, so let's see. Ellie, how you doing? You're pretty healthy. You need lots of activity and you need a good brushing. How does a bunny get so messy? I did used to have uh, a, my, when I worked as a nanny, the kids who I nannied for had a rabbit that was a miniature Rex. And oh my gosh, she could just go and end up getting like the messiest mess mess made in her in her cage overnight. And then you'd wake up and you'd have to like brush her. I almost thought that sometimes she would do it on purpose because she really liked when she would get like brushed and attention. And we would give her attention anyway, but she figured out, hey, if I kind of like start making a mess in this cage, then they might start giving me more attention. All right, so let's see. I've already got a lovely male cat at home, but he doesn't seem to be as active as he could be. I was thinking of getting another cat. Have you got one that gets on well with other cats? Do I ever? All right, and here, you you chew on this really quickly. Here, that little bunny treat. There we go. All right, so give the little bunny a treat. Do I ever, ma'am? Let's come on over. Uh, Benny, Benny, what do you think? Are you in the mood to be adopted? Uh, his health is still being repaired. This one's health is still being repaired. Um... Darn, like, Killian has cat flu. It, is that, like, oh my gosh, we don't have any cats that are, that are healthy enough. Oh, fudge to the knuckles. That is too bad. That is so too bad. I should have let him out earlier. I'm sorry, ma'am. Apparently, I mean, it, what about this one? Benny? <gasps> Benny went! Yes! Okay, good. Thank goodness. Yay, look at us! Oh my gosh. Oh, we've only got an hour left already? What? How did that happen so quickly? How did that happen so quickly? Well, we're gonna make sure that we take care of everybody. Don't you guys worry. All right, so let's see. Coat care is needed and confidence is needed on this beautiful bunny. And this would be an albino rabbit, which most of you guys probably know because you probably recognize the coloring, the white coloring with the pink eyes. And sometimes you'll get um, Lewistics who will have like the white coloring or blue eyes, depending on the breeds. All right, let's see, how's your coat care? Almost perfect. But yeah, that miniature Rex, her name was Autumn, and I swear she could get so messy. It was amazing. All right, oh, there's a new woman. Okay, hang on, ma'am. I just have to pet this bunny. You don't understand, it's, it's for both of our health. All right, how are you doing, ma'am? I'm looking for a pet for myself and my children. My husband works long hours, so the children don't see their father much. I would think they would enjoy having a pet, and then it would help cheer them up quite a bit. That, it definitely probably would. Do you want a bunny or, you know what, maybe a dog? A dog, like, you can talk to a dog. Bella, what do you think? What do you think, Bella? Perfect. Because, you know, you can, like, talk to a dog and kind of bond with it and sort of, you know what I mean? Uh, if dad's not around, you can, you can confide in the puppy and feel very happy about life that way. All right, let's go ahead and give you a little pet. And how about a little bunny treat? Whoops. How about a little bunny treat? Ah, carrots. There we go. There we go. And actually, our one of our bunny's favorite treats that we would give pretty sparingly because it was kind of high in sugar used to be yogurt drops. And oh my gosh, if you guys have never given a hamster yogurt drops or like a gerbil or whatever you have, you should try it out because it's so much fun to watch them with their little drops. Did we take care of everybody? 99% sure, yeah. Reptiles are taken care of. <gasps> Hello, sir. I've wanted a dog for ages, but my parents won't let me. Maybe I'll be able to persuade them if I find a really cute one. Oh, now, kid, if you're willing to take good care of a dog, I guess, but you need to take really good care of a dog. You gotta remember that, okay? Now, El Jesse here is really cute, though. Oh, perfect. It was the day of puppies. The day of puppies, and we actually took care of everybody. <gasps> I'm so proud of us. No, no, we didn't take care of everybody. I forgot the guinea pigs again. Why? How? How did I just manage to like blink on the guinea pigs? They don't need much. They're so adorable. They chuckle. And speaking of snacks and treats, so like I was saying, if you guys have never given a hamster yogurt drops, oh my goodness, they love yogurt drops. It is the cutest thing. Barely eating uh, teeth. And that's another thing. If you have a guinea pig, if you have a rabbit, if you've got, uh, but especially like 
a guinea pig or a hamster, you want to make sure they have something hard to chew on. Those little wooden toys that you see at the pet stores aren't just like to be cute. They're actually vitally important because in the wild, these guys would be chewing on the sticks, the rocks, they'd be chewing on everything so that they would be able to narrow or like wear down their teeth and their teeth never stop growing. Like mice, rats, all your little rodents, which includes you, which includes you, Mr. Cutest Guinea Pig in the whole world. All of your rodents will continue growing their teeth uh, constantly, just never stopping. And if you don't have something for them to chew on, then they will indeed get very sick. So they won't be able to eat anymore because their teeth will get so long or even puncture the roof of their mouth or cause like a huge overbite. So it's very important, huh, Mr. Guinea Pig, to give them lots of chew toys to chew on. Some of them will chew on like the Pumas chew toys, which are kind of like soft stones, but I, I've met more guinea pigs that pref they were like, ah, I don't want to do that. And they would prefer like the, um, flavored wood, which they really just seem to love. All right, let's give you a little bit more food. And our guinea pig, Robert, actually lived to 11. So they can live a very long time. And Robert, I think, lived that long because at the time I was working at a natural health food store. Whoops, sorry, little guy. I want to give you a little pet. Well, you're actually really happy, but I'm giving you a little pet anyway. He looked just like this too, Robert did. But I worked at a natural health food store, so I was able to bring home tons of like half-wilted organic carrots and lettuce and everything for him back at the time. And so he had like the high life as a guinea pig. He was very well taken care of. All right, and then you know what? I kind of want to throw a, I want to feed the horse a treat because I don't feel like we've taken good care of the horse just yet. We're after hours now, so we're not too rushed. Let's go ahead and give you a little brushing. I wonder when the horse is going to find a new home. And a little treat. There's a little apple treat. Yes, yeah, that's so yummy. Oh, that's okay. Maybe we'll just end up keeping the horse for ages and ages, which I would be totally fine with. All right, so let's put away our, our materials. Today has been a good day. We I think we adopted out all of the dogs, which is kind of amazing. And let's come over to the well, and then let's go ahead and look at what achievements we have to claim to see if we are even closer to being able to get that pond I want. Because I just feel like we could totally bra- Oh, there's mushrooms behind this trash can! That is, I love mushrooms! Those look like poisonous toadstools, though, so don't eat them! Don't eat them, kids! All right. Hamster friend one. We have processed the adoption of five hamsters to loving owners. Wonderful, wonderful. And then let's see. Bunny. Five bunnies have found owners. Five cats have found owners. Let's see. Five dogs have found owners. Oh, we are on a roll. Do I get like 800 rewards for having adopted out a bird finally? All right. Veterinarian two. We've examined 50 animals. I can't believe we've taken care of that many. Cupid 1, process adoptions for three animals, one after the other without being rejected. <gasps> We're on this. Process adoptions for five animals, one after another without being rejected. Oh my gosh, I didn't know we could get like points for that. That's so fun. The heart of a child? What does that, what does that have to do? Oh, play outside with an animal. Oh, I didn't know we could do that. I need to figure out how to do that. A heart for children, process adoptions for five animals to visitors under the age of 10. Oh, I would love to do that. All right, so there's bird friend, reptile friend, turtle lover. We got pretty darn close, you guys. We are getting closer and closer to being able to afford the fantastic, eh, the, not the ceiling fan. <laughs> not the fantastic ceiling fan. That's not as exciting. The pond! Ta-da! Oh, the windmill is actually more expensive, but I want the pond. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining us. In fact, do I have any? You know what? Hang on one second. We're going to figure this out. All right, let's grab a little dog toy. Well, actually, we, we adopted out all the dogs. Let's grab a little cat toy. Let's grab a couple of them. And then I want to see if we can figure out how on earth to play with the animals in the yard. So there's the cats running around in the yard. It's a wild mouse, you guys. Is this how you play with the cats in the yard? Okay. The cats are so enthusiastic. <laughs> Look at him go for that toy mouse. Woo! 
Wow, there we go. There we go. We finally got a little bit of action going on there. Well, that was amazing. But all right, everybody, I will see you guys next time. I guess that's how we can kind of play with the animals out in the yard. Uh, if I'm doing it wrong, let me know. And we will try to take good care of these animals. As always, if you guys have adopted animals before or if you've got any animals that look like these, let us know about it. I love hearing your animal and pet stories. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.